fact that has brought this district and other districts, I'd say probably every district in this state, to our district alone, $65 million in cuts over the past five to six years. That's a fact and that's reality. So those are the things that not only our district is facing, that all districts in California have faced. So um, I just wanted to make that. Hey, check what happened? Who said that? Okay, my name is Johnny Uwuchi, and I'm here, I'm a concerned parent. Um, two of my children go to Rosemead High School. Um, I'm really involved with my, my children's education, because to me, education is everything. Um, Basically, I, let me just give you a, a, an example of what kind of life it is for my, my son and my daughter at Rosemead High School. Ms. Solorzano, which is both my children's um, counselor, she takes her time, stays late, doesn't get paid, works through her lunch sometime to get things done. Ms. Kulichek, I know that she, she has stayed at the school when the children had essays to do. She stayed till 5 o'clock and, and I asked my son, where, where were you? And he said, Ms. Kulichek was helping a bunch of students trying to complete their essay to get them prepared for college. How many, how many teachers do you see actually take that kind of time? How many teachers do you see? Um, <laughs> He dedicates all his time. He's always there, even on Saturdays, to make sure that that, that school is ran right. But I'm not only a parent. I'm also a, a business owner in the city of El Monte. So I pay taxes in the city of El Monte. And I want my kids to have good education, not a watered-down education by making bigger classrooms and, and cutting teachers that. <laughs> $150,000 to, to our federal government in taxes. To the state of California, I paid $48,000. Not only that, this year my accountant told me I have to pay double taxes because look, there's not enough money. So if I'm paying taxes, then I, I should have the right to demand that my kids get a better education.
um, you know, help judge lip singing contests at lunch or to judge dodgeball tournaments that we have. I put my heart and my soul into my students. And without me there for them, it just breaks my heart knowing that I could possibly not be there for them next year. And, um, you know, I think we can all look back and remember that we've had that one teacher in our life that has been able to, um, you know, guide us in the right direction and give us some sense of like, encouragement. And I know for a fact that I do that for a lot of my students because they were very upset when I told them that, yes, there's a possibility that I could not be here next year. And the reason why I'm here actually, too, is to give you a, a face to the so-called number that you've given me and 62 other people that you just decided to cut from the bottom up. Because I don't think it's fair. Because there's a lot more that goes into it than just seniority that makes an excellent teacher. And yeah. I don't think it's fair that you're taking those away from them. So thank you for your time, and please reconsider.